much for tuning in today. Since Valentine's Day is just around the corner, I wanted to show you guys how I make my very cute, you know, pink, girly, very easy, everybody can achieve Valentine's look for your date. Or maybe if you don't have a date, that's totally fine too. You can still wear it. And just follow my steps and everything is gonna be okay. It's very easy, I promise. And one more thing, please, please make, make sure, sure to subscribe to my channel. It will mean so much to me. Let's just jump right into it. Let's go. The first product I'm going to use is the Pore Professional from Benefit. Any primer would be useful here. Not too much, just a drop on the nose area. because the pores there are pretty visible and we don't want them to be visible. Smooth it out and I got a really huge pimple there today and I was like, no, no, no. Why, today? why today? So a little bit under my eye. Later on when you put on the foundation, I feel like it won't dry out as much. So I'm applying a little bit around my eye here. Once this is done, I'm going to use Estee Lauder Double Wear in shade 1 and 1. Just a pump. And then I'm going to take my sponge and blend it out. Once this is blended well, I'm taking my Benefit Concealer. Not too much because we don't want it to be cakey and we are not going for the Instagram look here. So I'm going to just apply one and another one dot and one dot and on my pimple and some bad blemishes. I'm going to take my fingers and just dab it in because concealer is pretty thick. We want it evenly to soak into the skin, not to create a dry or creasy look. And then we are going to take our sponge to even out Again, harsh lines. And once we create this clean looking skin, we are jumping right into. For the eyebrow, I am just going to take a brush and brush them upwards. The eyebrows are ready. I'm going to take my eyeshadow palette, which is this one here. Whichever you have is fine. You just need some pink shades and white shades. I'm starting with the base color, which is gonna be just a plain white color, which is this here. And then I'm going to take a fluffy brush and again take the same white color and go in to the inner corners because you want to brighten the inner corners. Gives you automatically a younger and awakened look, I feel like.
don't worry to go in down here too so this is ready now I'm going to take a pink shadow which is going to be this one and apply on my eyelid you don't have to go too far into the inner corners it would be always better to keep it brighter there next step is to take a smaller brush and apply the same pink eyeshadow under my eye. Keep the eyeshadow until your pupil because always just keep the front part bright. Once this is done I'm going to take a champagne color which is this one over here. And I'm going to use my finger for this and apply it on the edge to darken the edge to create some dimensional look then take a dark shade a pretty dark shade actually I'm going to use this one right here very close to my natural lashes so to give an eyeline effect basically and again only go halfway until the pupil but also lift your eye if you are going upwards with your blending and I'm going to take that same dark color and just very lightly go under my eye don't go crazy here because we want to keep the pink visible so this doesn't look too bad I guess you can take whatever eyeliner you want I'm just using can make it's a Japanese brand and just apply it on the edge don't go too thick because people with small eyes like I do will just cover the whole eyelid with black eyeliner and our eye will appear even smaller I'm done with my eyeline. It is <laughs> very much not perfect at all. Today it's somehow not working. Well, try to create a straight line as much as possible. Let's jump right into the next step, which is mascara. I'm using the mascara from Estee Lauder Lash Multiplying Volume Mascara. I'm sorry guys if you can hear noise then it's my neighbor she or he is just moving in next door well once you are done with the upper lashes I'm going to take the mega fluffy Maybelline mascara for the bottom lashes because we want to go a little lighter here The mascara is applied we are going to take our blush brush which means we are almost finished with the look I'm going to take this very pinky blush over here but don't go overboard with a, like strong looking blush like this you don't want to look like a clown and I'm just applying it on the apples of my cheek very lightly now I like to apply it close to my nose because it will give you a younger looking effect. I am just going to apply it on my nose tip. For the lips I'm going to take Dior number 536 
it is a very pinky color. And then blend it. And then blend it with your fingers. And then I'm going to take a lip liner, color sensational, 132 in sweet pink from Maybelline. And just overline the lips a bit. And that is how easy it is to create a very quick, romantic, cute, girly Valentine's look. Don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Bye!